You know, I've heard that if you aren't careful walking around St. Mysterio night, you can run into trouble. I bet Ramon wasn't careful, wasn't being careful. What exactly do you mean? Oh, we got a painting scrap though. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. So let's head back to the end. Uh, Carlos said down from here is to the end. Uh, ah, clearly this is the end here. I don't remember her voice. I don't remember anybody's voice. Hey there, boys. Turning in for the night already? Not quite. I heard word that you found a wristwatch out by the entrance to the park. Oh, that old thing. Doesn't it belong to you, Professor? Oh, no, it's Gerard's. He dropped it today while wandering about town and asked me to help him find it. Why am I not surprised? That man sheds more stuff than a cat sitting by a fireplace. All right, then. Here's that watch. You know, it figures it belongs to that Gerard. I was just thinking to myself, the professor is far too fashionable to wear this whole thing. I think she's got a thing for the professor. I think she likes she likes your boy Layton. Ha <laughs> ha, thank you very much. We got the wristwatch. Oh, yes. And just out of curiosity, you haven't seen Ramon about lately, have you? Ramon? That skinny man with the big purple lips? No. He hasn't come by today. But you know, for all his fancy clothing, I hear he's actually quite the layabout. He's probably off idling at the cafe. Why not go check for him there? I see. If that's the case, I'd like to go to the cafe right away. Do you mind keeping the front door open a little longer? Oh, don't worry about it, Professor. Another guest arrived to stay the night, and I'm setting up his room. Besides, my door is always open for a dashing gentleman such as yourself. All right, so let's run to the uh, the good old cafe. This is the cafe. This is the town hall. Uh, s that's not the cafe. Uh, that's not the cafe. Let me see. Let's see. Where's the cafe? So now we can go this way? No, we can't go this way. Okay, we have to head back. We have to head back. That's the game saying, "Hey, chill." You suck. Also, you can't go that way. I think this is the cafe here. This looks cafe-ish. Nope. Try again, chill. Try again. Let's see. Is it this way? Uh. Let's see. My 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 map. Not not this map, but my map. Trash. Trash. I tell you. Um, do we have a do we have an actual map? No actual map. Let's see. It's inside the clock tower. All right. So we got to move this man out our way. Oh, hit coin. We got. Do we move this man? Cause oh, we have his watch now. Okay. Oh, so you found my watch, did you? But of course, a gentleman always keeps uh, helps those in distress. I would hope they don't keep them in distress. Speaking of which, we're still quite worried about Ramon's whereabouts and should probably return to our search now. Yep, see Mysterio is strange like that. Despite its size, it can be quite challenging to find people. Sometimes it feels like running in a darn maze. Speaking of mazes, you ever heard this one, Sonny? How'd I know that was coming? How'd I know it was coming? But we really must be... On the run. This one's 40 Picarats. Oh, boy. We're getting there. We're getting there. Here we go. <laughs> A mysterious bandit is on the lam. That means he's, he's on the run. And trying to escape the police who are hot on his trail. His entrance into this part of town is marked with an arrow. This particular bandit follows a peculiar creed and has vowed never to go backward or turn around. Additionally, whenever he meets an intersection, he will always turn left or right. Now, as you can see from the map, this part of town has multiple exits, which are labeled A through G. Of all the exits here, which one will the bandit never be able to pass through? Okay, this is going to be a fun one. Okay, so our bandit has a few rules. He doesn't go backwards or turn around, and he doesn't 
I'm sorry. Whenever he goes to an intersection, he always turns either left or right. So there's one of these exits that he will never be able to get through. And I'm thinking it's A. Just off looking at it, I'm thinking it's A. Because there's an intersection immediately in front of it. Sorry. Never mind. He can eventually get to A. Okay. So we can't do it that way. We can't. We can't just look at this and gauge it. Let's see. So he starts here. He can either go left, up, or right. Let's start at the right. If he goes right, he can go down this way and then eventually go to A. So A is off limits. If he goes this way, let's see. Is it possible for me to... Oh, I can't draw a path. Yes. Oh, I can draw a path. It makes it so much easier. Okay. So if he goes to the right, then he could eventually go this way. Okay, I don't have to go ahead and click, uh, I don't have to click clear every time either. Dope. Can we get to B? Is there a way we can get to B? Remember, as long as we don't turn around and we always make a turn at an intersection, anything is possible. So we can go this way. It looks like we can't get to B. There's no way for us to get to B, is it? Let's see. We can go up here, this way, here. This way, and then we can go to B. Okay, we can get to B. How about C? Can we make it to C? We can go this way. We can get to C. We can. I know we can get to D. Oh, can we get to D? Let's see, not that way. I believe there's another way. Let me see something. We can go this way. We can go here. This way. Oh, snap. I don't think we can get to D. I'm trying to I'm trying to see how to get to D. I feel like I saw something when I was trying to do C on how to get to D. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we can get to D. Clear that. E. Can we get to E? We can go this way. We need to turn. It doesn't say we can't go on a path. I'm going to assume we can't go on a path twice, but it doesn't say we can't, like, go this way, you know? That that did nothing. I don't know why I just did that. Anyways, we can get to E. We can get to E. Even if this didn't, this made it so it didn't count, we can just go up here. So we can get to E. Can we get to F? We must always turn left or right. Yeah. Oh, we can't get to F, I don't think. We can very clearly get to G. So that would just leave F. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can get to all of them. Something's up. Something is up here. This particular bandit follows a peculiar creed and has vowed to never go backward or turn around. Additionally, whenever he meets an intersection, he will always turn left or right. Wait a second. Wait a second. We didn't turn left. We went this way. I'm sorry. We didn't turn. We went this way. I think I did that wrong. I'm pretty sure I did that wrong. Okay, that's us getting to F. We can get to F. So one of these here I did wrong. We can make it to F. As long as you turn at every intersection, you can get to F. How about G? This is G. G is G is the easiest of all. A. Let's try A again. We can get to A. Ooh. Hang on. Let's see. Can we get to B? No, we can't get to B, can we? There's no way to get to B. That's pointless. Doing that is the same thing as this. Yeah, I don't think we can get to We can't get to B. I'm choosing B. Let me see. Let's 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 check our work. Let's check our work. I'm thinking it's B. So we check it by going backwards. We start at B and we have to find a way to get to the arrow. 
Uh uh. I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible. It's B. There we go. Dunzo. Every puzzle has an answer. That's right. As you can see from the diagram, if the bandit must turn every time he approaches the intersection, the ways he can move through the town are set. As a result, no matter how he approaches B, he'll never be able to leave through there. The arrows just say which direction he's turning. Okay, got it. Got it. Oh, I see it now. I see it. It's a lot clearer when it's done that way. Dope. That's pretty dope. That's a dope puzzle. You're a sharp one, Sonny. You know, if you're looking for someone, you should ask around at the inn or cafe. As you know, the inn is right by the entrance to the village. The cafe is right at the fork. Right in the fork. At the fork. In the road just north of here. We've already searched the inn, but checking the cafe sounds like a good idea. We'll be sure to stop by. Well, then I'm off to bed. An old man needs his beauty rest. Thanks again for your help. Think nothing of it, sir. Uh, who gets the cream rug? Layton. Layton gets the cream rug. All right, let's head to the cafe. You gonna let me? Oh, I have to. Okay, got it. Uh oh, these these clowns are back. This girl and then the cat and the rat. Good evening to you, sir. It's almost my bedtime, but I've got one more puzzle for you. Want to see it? No. No, I don't. A thousand times. This is gonna be good. Uh, it's we're at twenty picarets. What on earth is this message getting at? The following is written on a piece of paper you picked up. Blank is a thousand times blank. To turn this strange message into a proper sentence, all you need to do is fill in the blank with a single letter of the alphabet. But what letter could it be? You'll need to use the same letter for all three blanks. Is this Roman numerals that we're looking at? Blank is a thousand times blank blank. Blank is a thousand times blank blank. Blank is a thousand times blank blank. A single letter of the alphabet. Blank is a thousand times blank blank. <sighs> Single letter of the alphabet. Blank is a thousand times blank blank. A B C D Blank is a thousand times blank blank. My mind blown right here. <laughs> Use the same letter for all three blanks. Blank is one thousand times blank blank. Man, I I am I am lost on this one. It's a single letter of the alphabet. I'm gonna blow one hint. <laughs> oh, I how did I know? How did I know I was gonna say that? I was just about to say. Watch it say something slick like, there's only 26 letters of the alphabet, get to work, narrowing it down. Of course, of course. That's exactly what it's saying. <laughs> Let me see, do I wanna hit? No, I don't wanna hit, I don't wanna hit. Not just yet, not just yet. The game is right, there's 26 letters, let's narrow them all down. I'm at H in my mind, H, 
is a thousand times HH. Uh uh. Uh uh. I J K L M N O. Is it zero? Is it O? P Q R S. I'm thinking. Oh, I need to actually write it in all of them. Is this stupid ass game gonna? Oh. Okay, after. I was gonna say, is it gonna recognize all of my. Is it recognizing that as a as a Okay, it is recognized as a letter and not a number. Got it. I'm putting O. The letter O for zero. Final answer. There we go. Ah. Uh, I suppose I thought wrong. The question talks about something that something that's a thousand times something else. So perhaps this letter has something to do with size. What letter has to do with size? Oh, that's so dumb. Oh, that's so, oh, this is the dumbest puzzle. Oh my God, I hate this game. I hate this game. Listen, guys, I hate this game. I get it. I get it. Okay. It, blank is a thousand times blank blank. It's not talking about quantity. It's talking about size. So when you use letters, you're talking about units, meters. M is a thousand times MM. One meter or mile, whichever way you want to look at it, really. Eh, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be miles. But meter. One meter is a thousand times MM. Millimeter. I hate this game. I hate this game. Listen, this is exactly what I felt all throughout Layton versus. <laughs> I hate this game. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. Shut up, Layton. Shut up. I'm sick. <laughs> sick of this game. How'd you like my puzzle? Pretty fun, right? No. You did such a good job, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I heard that there's a man-eating monster in the tower, and that's why everyone stays away. I'm not silly enough to think there's an actual monster inside, but the place is dangerous. So be careful in there, mister. Where will the bookcase go? Give it to Luke. Give it to Luke. Hate this game. <laughs> hey. Talk to the cat. Professor, there's a cat here. Oh, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Animals are very dear to you, aren't they? Are they not, Luke? Well, then, I have just the puzzle for you. Because we, we didn't just get enough like two minutes ago. Cats and mice. Didn't we do this one already? Or is this a different cat and mice puzzle? It's a different cat and mice puzzle. All right. Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. Listen, this is Layton. This is Layton, so the answer's not as clear. I, I I watched the last episode that uploaded, the last VOD that uploaded. Remember, all the Layton puzzles suck. Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. With that in mind, how many cats does it take to catch 100 mice in 100 minutes? There's a trick here somewhere. There's a trick, and I feel like it's in the minutes. Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. With that in mind, how many cats does it take to catch 100 mice in 100 minutes? Five 
Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. So does that mean that every cat caught um, one mouse on their own every minute? Or does that mean... Do, does that mean that... If it was just one cat, it would have taken that one cat 25 minutes to catch the five mice. Let me look at let me look at how it wants me to put the answer in. Okay, it's this stupid thing. Okay. Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. It's either saying every cat went in order and it took them an average of one minute each to catch a mouse. Or it would take one cat 25 minutes to catch five mice. I know it's wrong. I'm going to put 100. How many cats does it take to catch 100 mice in 100 minutes? No, that's... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I'm writing this one out. I'm writing this one out. I'm writing this one. I feel like I can solve this one in one try. I feel like I can get this one in one try. I feel like I can get this one in one try. So let's see. It took five cats five minutes to catch five mice. So in this scenario, we have 100 mice. And we want to know how long it's going to take. I'm sorry. We want to know how many cats it's going to take to catch them in five, 100 minutes. It should still be five cats, right? It should still be five cats. It's either five cats, 100 cats. Let's see. We have, what is it? Rate. Rate is time. What is it? What is it? Rate equals work divided by time. I think that's how the formula goes. Rate is work divided by time. So it should still take the same amount of cats. Five, I'm saying five cats. I'm going with five cats. I'm going with five cats. I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. <laughs> I know it's wrong. How does this sound? Oh, okay, it was right. It's, it's the... the the time increased and the work increased. They e they increased proportionately. So the amount of cats didn't need to increase at all. It's going to take the same amount of cats. What's the word I'm looking for? It's going to take the same amount of cats an equal amount of time to get just as much work done is what I'm going for. That's what I'm going for. Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. If the mouse hunt continues over another five minutes, there we go. If the mouse hunt continues another five minutes, you can expect a total of 10 mice to get caught. In other words, the same five cats catch 10 mice in 10 minutes, 20 and 10. Perfect. That's exactly. I know math. I know my math. Okay. It's just Layton is an asshole, and I stand by this. I stand by this. <laughs> this video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to Alt Play as well as turn on notifications and follow at the Alt Play on Twitter. That way, you can stay up to date on all changes.